Tiger in the Sun. Pretty appropriate name for today, it must be said. Uh, we are cooking with heat here, and uh, his finish is pretty cooking as well. Who's we? This is nice and aircon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It's a, it's a scorcher out there today, but a uh, nice way to start the day. It certainly is, and uh, he came from quite a way off. I am always caught out by the angle, so I'd rather get your opinion on it. But there were a good couple of lengths between you and the front two horses at one stage. Yes, there was. Um, you know, he gave away a lot of start. He actually broke on terms, but then had no speed thereafter. Um, I just allowed him to find his feet. You know, these 800-meter scurries are... Yes tricky and if you try and ask an inexperienced horse to get going early then sometimes it's uh, you know they can get there and then peter out so i thought well I'll try let him build into it and see yeah. if i can have one crack at them i honestly thought thought through the 400 that i'd given away too much start and uh, i thought well let's see how he's going to finish off and once i produced him for his run he started quickening nicely gave him one tap in the left he responded well one more and he got the job done i wasn't sure that i'd got there on the line it was pretty yeah. close but uh, glad to see the result go up Certainly is, and that's the first one of the season, so great start. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Well done to all the connections, the whole host of them. Not going to single them out. Uh, Ellen can talk further about what he thought about this youngster. Uh, Charlie suggests that he might be green, which he was, but as I say, it was encouraging the way he finished his race off, so well done to all involved. It certainly was. Greg, well done. Thank you. Next up, we've got trainer Alan Hreff, a tiger in the sun, doing honours for his yard this afternoon, and as Greg said, quite a few of you guys involved, you have a share with Glenifer as long with a host of people so lots of happy people. Yes Nate, uh, we must uh, take our hat off first to Daryl. He singled this horse out the sale, asked me to go and look at him and uh, to buy him so I bought him so well done Daryl, well spotted and uh, to all the guys that are in partnership with him um, you know I thought he'd run a nice race I just didn't know if he was going to be his mind on the job 100% and as Greg said you could see he was green and all over the show and I must admit, I thought he'd run second, uh, my first uh, intentions, but uh, race was a good uh, result at the end of the day, and he came out on top, so well done to everybody concerned. Going through your runners, you look as if you can be very competitive this afternoon. We do know that things don't always go the right way in PE, and it's hard for you to break down all your runners, as you do have a few. But would I be correct in saying your top three standouts look to be Rock Allo, Woodstock Ferry, and American Landing? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think uh, if you follow us through the day, hopefully today that this was a good start, but you never know. And uh, I came here with my tail up this afternoon, and hopefully I don't go home with my tail between my legs. But uh, I think, yeah, um, bar, I think Silvery Hearts there where Woodstock Ferry has also got a chance, but I do lean towards uh, Woodstock Ferry. The other horse, American Landings, in the graduation plate, a mile bit maybe on the sharp side, but he's got the class. Uh, Racine and um, Atlantis de Amour have done nothing wrong in their races and uh, you know um, hopefully all goes well um, so we'll just hold thumbs for the day. Most definitely now to put an even bigger smile on your face it is the first leg of the Bloodstock SA value added bonus series and there is of course that extra incentive for trainer and owner so very well done to uh, Alan and all the compatriots involved in that extra 60,000. Well, you know, it's a great uh, initiative by Bloodstock South Africa and uh, tick the box and uh, hopefully you collect the cash. So well done to them. Thanks, boys. Well done. Thank you. Alan certainly has collected the cash this afternoon. And uh, with that, we on to please call in Mr. Rion Hanakom to join me here. And this race was sponsored by BNI. And tell us a little bit, what is BNI? What does it stand for? BNI stands for Business Network International. It's a global organization, and um, it's in every, basically every country around the world. And it's a platform where business owners can market their, their business um, through a structured environment. That's fantastic. And who all can benefit from BNI? Any business owner that um, would like to market their business in the 21st century, because word, word of mouth business is not actually taught anywhere. So, so we actually provide that platform globally where people can um, come and market their business um, through BNI. Well, it's great to have you this afternoon. Thank you very much for getting involved and sponsoring and for answering all the questions. Thanks for having me. Thank you. There you go, Mr. Hanakom there from BNI, sponsors of our first race this afternoon. Great to hear a little bit more about them and great to get the first baby race of the season underway. They are so exciting and there's definitely more of a vibe on course when the babies step out for the first time. And very well done to Tiger in the Sun, as I mentioned, very aptly named this afternoon for taking the first one. Race one now all clear, four, seven, two, three, and one. Tote favourite the winner, number four, 